of a sweet savor unto Elohim, as ye do, so he shall do. One ordinance shall be both for you of the congregation and also of for one also for the stranger that should join with you. An ordinance forever in your generations, as ye are, so shall the stranger be before Elohim. One law and one manner shall be for you and for the stranger that should join with you. And Elohim spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land where I will bring you, then it shall be that when ye eat of the bread of the land, ye shall offer up a heath offering unto Elohim, ye shall offer up a cake of the first of your dough for a heath offering, as ye do the heath offering for of the dressing floor, so shall ye have it. Of the first of your dough ye shall give unto the uh, Elohim a heave offering in your congregations. And if ye have erred and not observe all these commandments which Elohim have spoken unto Moses, even all the all that Elohim have commanded, ye by you by the hand of Moses from day that the Elohim commanded Moses and his forth among your generation, that it shall be, if aught be committed by ignorance without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, for a sweet offering unto Elohim with his meat of offering and his drink offering according to the manner and one kid for of uh, the goats for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and it shall be forgiven them, for it is ignorance. And they shall bring their offering, a sacrifice made by fire unto Elohim, and their sin offering before Elohim for their ignorance. And it shall and it shall be forgiven all the congregation of their children of Israel, and the stranger that should join among them, seeing all the people were in ignorance. So, you know, you know, ignorance, you know, this is the main part of this um, matter of the, the ignorance uh, sacrifice. Obviously, you would use that uh, uh, sacrifice for Yahushua Mashiach, but, you know, the Most High does uh, understand that people are ignorant of things, you know what I'm saying? It's even in the law. And if any saw sin through ignorance, then he shall bring a she-goat of the first year for a sin offering, and the priest shall make an atonement for the soul that sinneth ignorantly, when he sinneth by ignorance before Elohim to make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. Like, you know, an accident. You know, the most high I got lost for accident. Okay, it was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. You know what I'm saying? Now, this ain't no, oh, man, you know, I'm thinking about committing adultery or, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, it's, it's different. It's, it's different. This is ignorance. Yeah, I know about adultery and fornication. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's when you don't know about adultery and fornication. And this woman was tempting you and you succumbed to it. And you start, I was just having sex. I didn't, you know, and then you find out, oh, I committed adultery. I did that in ignorance. It's, it's all different. It's not the same. Yeah. Uh, it's not the same. Man, I remember that time I went to church that one time. They was talking about don't commit adultery. And you know, it's different. You're not ignorant at that point. And the priest shall make an atonement uh, for the soul that sinned ignorantly when he sinned by ignorance before Elohim to make an atonement for him. And it shall be forgiven him. Ye shall have one law for him that sinned through ignorance, both for him that is born among the children of Israel and for the stranger that should join it among them. But the soul that doeth ought presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproaches Elohim, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people, because he hath despised the word of Yah. A lot of people in this day and age despise the word of Yah. They don't want to do his word, not because they have a hard time doing it, they despise his word. Continue in sin. They want to continue in sin because they despise Yah's word, uh, and have broken his commandment. That soul shall uh, utterly be cut off his iniquity shall be upon him 
that's why you know, who should say, you know, in that time, you know, many would say, you know, have I done this and that, get away from me, you workers of iniquity. Now you cut them off. And, uh, and while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Shabbat, and they that found him gathered sticks, brought him unto Moses and Aaron, and unto all the congregations, and they put him in the ward, because it was not declared what should be done unto him. And Elohim said unto Moses, The man shall be surely put to death. All, all the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought him without the camp, and stoned him with stones. And he died as Elohim commanded. You see how this was adding up? You know what I'm saying? They, in verse 30 it says, um, But the soul that do it ought presumptuously. So this person was presumptuous. Like, man, I don't care what he said. <laughs> I'm having me some biscuits That's right, yo. tonight. Don't give me them fire, boy. Bye, bye, yo, I'm tired of being cold. Don't give me them fire. Now, and you see how, how this was a build-up when he presumptuously doing this. So you're not covered. Ignorance would have been covered, but they did this on purpose. Yeah, and the most right. high went. And the most high finished this is finishing this uh, part of the paragraph with I put him to death because he doing he's doing this on purpose. It is no mistake uh, about this. Um, and Elohim spake unto Moses saying, Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Elohim and do them and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye use to go a horn that ye may remember. So, you know, the fringes was, you know, like, let me put something to remember them. You know what I'm saying? Remember, well, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. That's, that was the fringes are for. That ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your Elohim. I am Elohim, your Yah, which brought you out from, brought you out of the land of Egypt. Be your, uh, be your Yah. To be your Yah. I am Yah, your Elohim. So, uh, it's just... That's all. Uh, another one uh, marked off. Go with the laws. Go ahead. Go on with the laws. I like that. Well said. All right. I laws are not spoken that much in the house. No, not at all. And, you know, and that's why a lot of people sin uh, ignorantly because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Nobody ever told me. That's what I'm saying. I'm thankful that the laws were spoken in the house today. Again, like you said, take heed according to what you have heard and read. That you too may enter into the to the kingdom of paradise to Yahuwah. All right, again it's a good day, nice good sh uh, Shabbat. Thankful, thankful again to hear the word again and rehearse the laws of Yah. Again, doors open for salvation again. If you are sin and you heard some of these things and you want to change and get them off you, be baptized first. You you already believe in Yah. You know, I know Yahushua Mashiach. You call upon him and say, Yah, I don't find no sin. He says, Sure, forgive me my sins. Yahushua is just pray forgive you. And you come to a priest like me, pastor, and says, I'll, I'll commit a sin before Yah. What do I do? I say, Well, you need to be baptized. You need to get that stuff washed off you. You know, you must be born of the water and spirit. And then I'll go over some more scriptures and show what you. Like Yeshua said, you believe in his baptized, you should be saved. And he told Yeshua says, you know, it's fulfill all righteousness. John Yachanan forbade him, but uh, Yahushua said, it's to fulfill righteousness, to get your sins off you. And that's what Yah has commanded us to do now. It's part of salvation. What is salvation? I'll think about it again. Everybody says, you say, what is salvation? It's saved for the wrath of Yah. That's what salvation is all about. Yah, is coming. He's coming for the children of disobedient. So you want to be saved from that. And how you get saved is getting your sin. Y'all gave Yahushua Mashiach to be our atonement, to cover us. The blood. So you want the blood 
from 2,000 years ago, you got to be baptized. Yes, you can believe in that. Now, if you don't believe, then don't do it. It ain't no sense. It's without faith, it's impossible to please them anyway. But you believe, be baptized. So I share with you, TV Land. Anybody want to be baptized, give me the phone numbers early in the service. Call me, and we go with the word.